We bring the humanoid to Libya to Libya because this is the place where humans started uh, testing their limits for the first time and this is where robots will start again. And we want Greece to be at the forefront of uh, robotics and physical AI. So this is the psionic ability hand. It's made for both humans if you're missing a hand or on robots. And I can control it with these two buttons so I can shake hands with it. Um, we can do different grips with it. So you can um, make a pinch with it. If you're at a rock concert, you know, you can um, rock on. And uh, one of our user favorites is the finger wave where you can see all the, the different fingers moving right over there. We've had both our human users and robots do many tasks. We've gone paragliding with it, we've cracked eggs with it, we've, we've um, flipped pancakes with it, folded laundry, um, we've done dishes. Uh, and so all these household daily tasks, but also more extreme things like flaming board breaking where we had three wooden boards set it on fire and we had one of our users punch through it. Um, and the hand is very robust. I've dropped it off the roof of my house 10 meters. It survived. I uh, put it in a dryer for 10 minutes. I arm wrestled the paratriathlete national champion and lost. So this thing can take quite a beating. Now we have three, four, five billion dollars circulating within the next 18 months in the humanoid global industry. This means that in 12 months, it's what we call in the United States make or break. It's either it happens or it doesn't happen. So I think that we're going to see in the next 12 months cracking problem after problem in assembly, in transportation, in uh, moving in logistics, and at home as well, all these, you know, uh, laundry, uh, dishwashing, uh, uh, groceries on the refrigerator, right? Those we're going to see in 12 months, all of them being solved. So we have this very durable material that's not going to break, but if it does break, then you can actually remove the back plate, pop this up, and remove individual finger modules. We have these fingertips that are used by our, are created by our partner, Sensible. And as I push down on them, you can see here how much force is being applied. Adam's family. Adam's family. Yes, yes. So our hand. But it's not breaking. Hey. You can also grab this if you want and lift that up. Okay. Ah, yeah. That's so easier. The house is the final frontier. I really believe that humanoids will go to space first and then to the houses. Because it's much easier to operate such a machine in a different extraterrestrial environment. The house is the final frontier in the sense that it's so unstructured, so dynamic. It requires dexterous manipulation, it requires a level of skill that only humans have. So for a humanoid system, it is really the, the holy grail.
Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.